Hello everyone, Michael here again. Um, again on the channel, we just, we talk about um, motivation and some of my insight or ideas that we can help one of another um, achieve financial literacy, um, financial independence, and you know, any way we can improve that income, lower that spending, and build that savings in order to invest more, okay? Very simple. So um, today I wanted to talk about um, like an ideology that I've heard from Dave Ramsey. Um, Dave Ramsey, Dave Ramsey gives some some real good financial advice, guys. You know, I can't can't say much against what Dave Ramsey is saying. It's, it's very on point. It's very it's very accurate for the most part. You know, few things I disagree with, but overall, big picture, he's giving you guys the right idea. He's very tough on you guys um, when it comes to your spending. He's no nonsense about that, which is which is the key. That's how you have to think. You have to be kind of a cheapskate and be very mindful of how you spend your money and very frugal with how you spend your money. Um, so he's very on point with that. You know, and he's a little abrasive and you know sometimes comes off insulting but you have to you know be that way sometimes it's like tough love you have to be that way to so that people can really get it and realize how 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 severe of a mistake mistakes they potentially are making okay but get into spending another time and i have other videos and spending and stuff but the thing i wanted to comment on or slightly disagree with them on um, you know, Ramsey, he doesn't believe in um, credit cards or credit in general. Um, and that's, that's a little far, that's a little far left, okay? Because um, Ramsey is speaking from a perspective of he's already rich, he has businesses, he has books, he has residual income coming in from his program. He has classes, tutorials. He has all these sources of income, which is the goal, which is how you and I want to become. He has all these sources of income um, coming in left and right, right? And he has his he has his properties, okay? So this guy has numerous of income and he's uber rich. So he can kind of speak about credit cards and debt in that manner. Uh, we'll get into debt a little bit more on, but we're talking more, mainly about credit and credit cards today. Um, he could kind of talk about it from like a, cause he's on a different level um, versus we are. So it's not really, I don't think he's giving us the right, you know, to be honest, I don't think he's giving us the right advice there. Um, okay. Um, the thing is for you and I, initially until we get to like a ramsey kind of level initially we need credit cards and we need credit credit score and to be you know have our credit score reported contrary to what ramsey is telling you the reason being is credit cards are essential to improving your credit score okay at least initially right once you've gotten to that 800 or 800 credit score then you can you know dwindle down or be rid of you not even because you can maybe dwindle down or slow your usage of them as much or use them strategically but you always going to want to keep those accounts open okay because as soon as you close those accounts, those are accounts that are long standing in good standing that are no longer reporting to your score. So you're gonna take, you cut your go, your score is gonna take a hit if you close those credit cards. So that's not what you wanna do. Especially again, like if you're like you or me, who's still looking to buy property who's still looking to one day get a business loan, you know, 
Um, and this is, um, you, need, you, need, you need that credit score, okay? Plain and simple. Because it, if you don't have it, you can't leverage, you can't leverage to make more money. Now again, later on, once you've already, once you're content with buying all your properties, you're content with your business, you're content with all your extra incomes, then you could, you know, do what you you do what you will because you don't need it anymore. You know, it doesn't matter who, it doesn't matter. You're not looking to grow your portfolio anymore. You have enough cash. You have enough cash to where you can buy things cash. But until then, guys, don't listen to Ramsey. You, with that part, with that part, don't listen to Ramsey because you need credit cards because you and you need your credit score, okay? And again, you guys don't want to just go around closing, you know, long-standing credit cards with good history. Because remember, if you check your credit card or however you look at your credit, you have something that's called age of account, of age, average accounts age, okay? And if you close something that's like five, six years old, you're lowering that average dramatically, okay? You're lowering that average dramatically, you're gonna see a hit in your score. Actually, what you guys wanna do, you wanna, initially, you, initially, you wanna make sure you take out credit cards that have great rewards, such as, um, you know, um, flight miles, cash back on groceries, cash back on gas, and then also being mindful that these same credit cards don't have a lot of, you know, high expensive yearly fees, expensive monthly service charges, a lot of just extra unnecessary stuff where you're just giving them free money. Um, that that's what you want to be weary of is you're not, you know, this credit card is just not just this credit card you're about to sign up for is not just you giving it free money and a bunch of like hidden fines and service charges. Okay. So once you got some good, reliable um, credit cards with good, reliable perks, you then want to use them strategic strategically by spending for exactly what you need then paying it right back off so you're not charged interest, okay? That's the, that's, that's the key right there. You spend exactly what you need and what you have to pay off anyways so that way you're not charged a ton of interest unnecessarily, okay? For example, you're going on a vacation and you're gonna book a hotel. You're gonna spend that money anyway, but you put it on your credit card to get your points or your rewards or your cash back and you immediately pay it back. All right, that's the trick. It, it's, it becomes, it, it's negative when you have things sit there and build up. And again, it's compound interest. So the more, the higher balance is and the longer it sits, the more free money you're giving away. You never wanna give away free money, guys. That's, that's not the goal. Okay, so again, you know, I agree with Ramsey on most things and, you know, he's guiding you guys in the right direction, but as far as credit cards and credit, for right now, we, we need that, guys. We need that, okay? Because you don't know when you might see a property you like or maybe you have a business model that is gonna take off and make you a millionaire. So, uh, and you need a, a huge business loan from the bank. So until you have enough money, cash, or enough, uh, increase your portfolio large enough where you don't need a credit score, then you start thinking about getting away from debt, credit score, and credit cards in general. But until that, we, we need them guys, but just let's be mindful of how we use our credit cards and the credit cards we sign up for initially. Okay, again, Mike here. And leave a couple offers in the description, including how you can get some free stocks, um, some uh, bank bonus opportunities if you guys want to get a little bit into churning banks with me. Um, but you know, it's nice talking to you guys. You guys have a great day. Peace.